the very first thing that you're going to want to do with your dog when fixing leash pulling because i've gotten so many questions about this in the last couple weeks so i decided to make a video for you guys but the very first thing that you're going to want to do is switch from just walking on a collar to a harness. So a harness is amazing for taking the pressure off the dog's neck because for some reason, when they're choking themselves out, they literally do not associate that they're doing it to themselves. You have to take that pressure off the neck. And I say it like that because so many people will say, well, isn't it better to walk the dog on a collar so like he feels what he's doing to himself? He will not connect the feeling to his actions. So I would rather keep my dog safe than sorry. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is get a harness. Now, the harness is also great for giving you full control of the body. As you can see, when you're just on the neck, he has more control because you only have here and up. Any harness is great, again, for taking the pressure off of the neck and giving you full control of his body, but back clipping harnesses do not help with pulling. So if you are able to get a front clipping harness, that's what I recommend because back clipping harnesses almost entice the dog to pull more. If you think about sled dogs in Alaska, that's what they wear to pull the sleds is a back clipping harness. So it's not gonna help with the pulling or it's gonna make your dog pull harder. So that's why this front clipping one is amazing. And the harness that I like is the Easy Walk harness. Now it has a couple flaws. That's why I need to make my own harness. But for the most part, it's amazing. With this harness, it feels a little bit awkward in the beginning because the leash is right in the front, but it's going to keep him from pulling because this kind of has a double martingale right on the front. And when he tries to pull, it's just going to tighten. The other thing that I did is switch to a shorter leash. So I love this brand. It's really short. It's called Rock Straps. And it's also got this second strap right here to be able to hold on to, which is amazing for a puller, or for like a dog who's reactive. It's really nice to have that extra strap. But I only recommend a leash when you're doing healing training, four feet or even shorter, but like four feet is perfect. That's another thing is that you never want to use a retractable leash. If you don't want to go as short as four feet, do not use a retractable leash, please. One, I have a blog post going on about it in more detail, but the main thing is, is that it's dangerous to you and your dog. And then also it has an always changing distance where the dog gets to walk away from you. So you need to be consistent with how far is okay for your dog to walk right next to you and have that circumference of where your dog is allowed to walk. As a recap, before we even begin to start walking, number one, get rid of just walking your dog on the collar. Switch to a harness, specifically, even better, a front clipping harness. Um, back, back clipping harnesses entice your dog to pull more or they don't help with pulling at all. Any harness is great for taking the pressure off of the neck and giving you full control of the body. But if you have that front clipping one that connects on the chest, it's gonna actually tighten when he tries to pull and resist his pulling even more. I love these harnesses. This is the Easy Walk harness. They're my favorite harness by far. The next thing is throw away your retractable leash. I hate retractable leashes because they're dangerous and they have a distance that's always changing so your dog doesn't know what distance he's supposed to walk away from you. I like this one, a four foot leash that also has an, an extra handle for you to grab. Um, for pullers or for like reactive dogs, this is amazing to make sure you have full control. This is a really sturdy leash. It's my favorite, rock straps. Okay, so how to stop your dog from pulling. In the beginning of healing training, use treats, 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 and don't be afraid to. You have to be more motivating than anything that's out here. To establish this routine with your dog, to try to get him to focus on you and be healing next to you, you have to start the routine off with something very, very motivating, especially with all these distractions. I use treats and a clicker word in the beginning, and the number one issue that I see 
in leash walking is that a dog naturally the second he goes out the door or with in some dogs the second that his harness goes on leash goes on there's zero percent focus on the owner and that's what you can see with vlad when he was just walking he was in his own world he's looking here looking there he's like what's that a squirrel bird what's that sound whatever so naturally he's in his own world so whether your issues are just having a dog that pulls on the leash or you have a dog who's reactive or aggressive on the leash, the very first step is to get your dog's focus. Focus goes so far. Vladdy, yes, good. Now Vlad doesn't sit. His owners didn't want him to sit because he's a hunting dog, so he only knows down. So typically what I do where he's going to be laying down, I'll typically have the dog sitting. But if you can get your dog to lay down in these situations, even better because that means the dog is fully controlled. Keep in mind when you're going to start healing training, you shouldn't try to right off the bat, apply this into your mile long walk. You should not ever set a distance when you're doing healing training. You should set a time and if you only get at the end of your driveway, that's okay. Because a lot of what the healing training is, is in the beginning, it's going to be a lot of brain work. If you try to incorporate this into your full on walk, you're going to go crazy. Like you're going to get so frustrated. It's going to take you three hours to get back to your home. So before you even begin walking, make sure that you have your dog's focus. So look at Vlad right now. He's looking ahead and I see so many people begin the walk right then when he's in his own world and he's going to just continue to be in his own world if he's in his own world mentally which is typically straight ahead if i start walking he's going to be that way physically and mentally so before we even begin walking, I'm going to make sure that I have his focus. So get your dog to sit or lie down and focus on you. So remember that sit and the down is not enough if you don't have your dog's focus. So basically you don't wanna start walking until your dog doesn't care to go forward. Yes. Right now he's so focused on me so I'm gonna have my hand at the side like this. So like I said before, a huge part of healing training is going to be focused on treats in the beginning, and then we're going to shift that focus to eye contact. Vladdy, down. Okay, now I'm gonna start walking and make sure that I have my hand right here that he's focused here. And you can always drop down and give him a treat right there in that position. Ah. Yes. So see, I'm not gonna start walking because he's focused on the dog over there. Okay, now we're gonna start walking. <gasps> yes, and I'm gonna drop down and give him a treat right here. Vlad, yes, good boy. The second that his focus goes off of me, I'm going to be calling his name back to me. So like I said before, a dog naturally has 0% focus once he gets out the door. So during training, it's important for you to practice 100% focus during the training because realistically, you're going to get somewhere in the middle of that. So you're gonna get more like 50% focus, more like, I guess like 60, 70% probably, which is perfect. You want your dog to look around and smell things, experience things, be able to see things, but you need to be able to grab your dog's focus no matter what. So if you train at a 50% focus mark, you're only gonna get somewhere in the middle of zero and 50. So like 25% focus, which is not enough. So we're aiming for 100% focus. So I think a lot of people make the mistake of not trying to get their dog's attention until the dog is pulling. The point of calling your dog back to you when he focuses off of you is to prevent the pulling. I'm gonna make sure I have his focus before I start walking. We're gonna start walking. Make sure that you praise that focus right when you start walking. Yes, and I'm praising him right here. Yes, it doesn't have to mean giving him a treat every second. Vlad, yes, see right there. When his focus left me, I called him right back up. Vlad. So I tried to call his name to prevent that pulling, but exactly what happened when the dog's too zoned out then, that is going to lead to a pull. If the leash tightens, you stop. And I kind of waited a second to see if he'd come back, but he's not. Then I'm gonna call his name and command him to heal. Vlad, heal. 
He's actually never done this before. They never have him walking on a leash. He's like a bird dog, so he gets extra distracted out here. So he just runs around in a field. So he's actually never really walked on a leash before. This is what healing is. It's at your side, loose leash, not a tight leash, and looking up at you. But during training, I usually get the dog to sit or lie down for that healing command just to ensure that I have full focus. Later on, like anytime that I feel Juno, you know, walking ahead of me a little bit, I'll tell her heal just to make sure that she slows her pace down and walks right next to me and she understands that she doesn't sit. She just knows it means, okay, go and walk right next to her without a tight leash. So now we're gonna put all the steps together. So remember, make sure that you have his focus before even starting walking. So make sure he's in that healing position. So get your dog in that down or sit position before even starting to walk. Yes, make sure you have his focus up here. Remember that down or sit is not enough. You need the focus. Once I have it, I'm going to start walking. Yes, reward for that instant focus right there, yes. Yes, verbally praise him, yes, yes. The goal right here is to be able to increase the distance or the amount of time in between when you give him a treat by just saying yes. Vladdy, yes! And that's okay if your dog is jumping up like that in the beginning, that happens with almost every dog. Vlad, oh yes, that almost was a pull, yes. Vladdy, Vlad. So if he pulls, stop tell him heal and you're going to I didn't really explain this last time take a step back with your right leg circle him around and then swoop him back around and then back to the down or sit good for a recap in how to get your dog to stop pulling on the leash in preparation make sure that you have your front leading harness your four foot long leash and treats step one Make sure before you even begin walking that you have your dog's focus. So have your dog sitting or lying down right next to your side and ensure that you have your dog's focus before going forward. Step two, aim for 100% focus on the walk. So the second that your dog looks down or away from you, call his name up to try to prevent that pulling. Reward him with a treat, with the clicker word, with praise when he does look up at you. Step three, if the leash tightens, stop. Do not allow your dog to think that a tight leash or pulling gets him what he wants. You have to stop completely and hopefully your dog will start to look back at you. Step four, when you are stopped, command your dog to heal. Heal means at your side, loose leash, focusing on you. So to get your dog into the healing position in the beginning, you have to take a step back, lure your dog around further back than your back leg or your back foot, circle your dog back around, and then get your dog back in that seated or lying down position and reward him. Then you're not gonna start walking again until you go back to step one, until you have your dog's focus. Remember to aim for a certain amount of time, not a distance when practicing this. And good luck.